The state of Israel is entering a new era after years of violence, instability, and war. Israel is experiencing stronger relationships with its Arab neighbors. And thanks to President Donald J. Trump, the historic relationship between the United States of America and the state of Israel has been restored and strengthened to a level never seen before. Dore Gold is the former Israeli ambassador to the United Nations and director general of Israel's foreign ministry. With President Trump in the White House, Israelis feel more secure than they did before. What President Trump showed us was that he wasn't just a man of rhetoric, that he followed through with real actions. Since his election to the presidency in 2016, President Donald Trump has proven without question that he is the most pro-Israel American president in history. And he's backed up his words with deeds. I just want to say thank you for everything you've done for the state of Israel. You've been the greatest friend that Israel has had in the White House. Thank you, Mr. President. While other presidents promised to move the American embassy from Tel Aviv to its rightful home in Jerusalem, only President Trump actually did it. Iran Lehrman is a former Israeli deputy national security advisor and one of Israel's leading scholars and policy experts. It reassures the Israeli people that their capital is non-negotiable. And only President Trump recognized Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights. When President Trump finally recognized the Golan Heights as Israeli sovereign territory, he locked in Israeli security for generations to come. And President Trump is the one who tore up the disastrous Iran nuclear deal, undoing the tragic, perilous decisions of the past. Former Justice Minister and current Knesset member Ayelet Shaked knows the importance of President Trump's decisions. Israel fight that deal because it's a bad deal that in the end, Iran will have a nuclear weapon. President Trump said, I'm not going to play in this game. I want to change the deal to create a better deal and to press Iran in order to stop promoting the nuclear program. This is critical for Israel's existence. And Shaked knows that it was President Trump who cut off U.S. taxpayer funding to the families of PLO terrorists. So we stopped funding those activities. It's very, very important for Israel's security. Qasem Soleimani was a member of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, commander of its Quds force and a brutal murderer. Former Major General and National Security Advisor to the Prime Minister Yaakov Amador. He built these militias and those militias uh, acted against American forces and killed American. All this together uh, made Soleimani a very central uh, pivotal guy in the whole Iranian aggressive policy around the Middle East. Killing American troops, acting against America, until... The U.S. military has taken decisive defensive action. Iran state television confirmed. The targeted killing of Major General Qasem Soleimani inside Iraq. He was killed in a convoy of vehicles. The operation was carried out at the direction Personnel. of President Trump. But we caught him in the act and terminated him. One of Israel's leading strategic thinkers is former Major General Uzi Dayan. President Trump actually sent a very clear message to the Iranian and to the outer world. And the message is uh, there is a red line that uh, I am not going to allow to cross. President Trump is one of the best things that happened to Israel and actually to, to the region. President Trump protecting America, killing terrorists, sending a message to enemies of Israel. We will always protect our diplomats, service members, all Americans, and our allies. In the daytime, downtown Jerusalem bustles with activity. The city is thriving. It's become a leading international tourist destination. Israel is growing faster than ever before. Former mayor of Jerusalem, Nir Barkat, has seen it all up close. I served as mayor of Jerusalem for 10 years. Nir Barkat knows the impact that President Trump has had on the Israeli people better than anyone, particularly when it comes to allowing Israel to develop its economy. The Obama administration practically froze the reality and did not want to see the city of Jerusalem develop on the eastern side, uh, which I believe is a big mistake. Now, when you look at the city, you see it's developing very rapidly. 
many cranes in the air, infrastructure, roads, uh, residential areas. The city is under development and everyone is developing in their own neighborhoods. Muslim, Christian and Jews are much, much happier than they were before. The city of Jerusalem is the fastest growing tourism city in the world, the fastest growing high-tech city in the world. And that resolution put the city on a fast track for economic success. I love you, this I think he's very special, but I think he's good for Israel indeed. President Trump recognized Jerusalem as the rightful capital of the Israeli people. He's a good president for Israel. Unequivocally supported Israel's right to exist. Thank you, President Trump. And President Trump has proven time and time again that Jews in America, Israel, and around the world have a friend in the White House. And he's getting results. Today, Israel's future is brighter than its past. While sadly, terrorism is still a daily reality for many Israelis, hope springs in the hearts of those who call it home. This is Adam. At only seven years old, Adam has not suffered under decades of attacks, during which Israel was forced to defend its very right to exist. And now, his future in this historic land is more promising than ever before. President Trump supporting Israel has made Israel stronger, safer, like there's a better future for me and my son, Adam. Today, the dreams of Israeli children like Adam are more secure, their communities are safer, and their parents are optimistic about their children's future. It wasn't always the case. President Donald Trump's steadfast commitment to a safe, secure, and peaceful Israel is one of the defining features of his presidency and has left a mark on history. You have been the greatest friend that Israel has ever had in the White House. Swiftly signaling a change of course, and guaranteeing a safer future for Israeli families, communities, and children. President Donald Trump, keeping his word to the Jewish people, a man for this moment, a bond between two nations strengthened and secured, a future for the Jewish people looking brighter than ever. <laughs>